All right, it is movie review time again, and I just got to watch the Netflix movie, The Pale Blue Eye. Now, it is rated R. It clocks in at about two hours and ten minutes, and as I just said, it is streaming on Netflix. It stars Christian Bale. Uh, real quick, a synopsis. It takes place in 1830 at West Point. There has been an apparent um, an aliving, and so he plays a character... Augustus Landor, who reminded me like almost like Sherlock Holmes. He solved a lot of mysteries, and so they bring him in to try and help figure this out. Uh, one of the cadets there is a young Edgar Allan Poe, and Edgar Allan Poe is played by Harry Melling. So the two of them together go about trying to solve the mystery of, of what's happening and what's going on. And I will say I did enjoy it. Um, Christian Bale's work overall is pretty strong. He does tend to do some really good movies. And this just continues that trend. Um, I think him and uh, Harry Melling do a good job together. Um, it is set in the wintertime. So there's a lot of scenes, of course, out in the snow. Um, and it certainly, you know, has that that feel being in the winter of, uh, of course, cold. But, you know, winter has a lot of times almost an overcast, um, just kind of depressing feel to it. And they, they do a pretty good job of capturing that, especially, again, where there's these uh, murders and things that are going on. So it certainly helps give some atmosphere to um, the movie. Now, I will say one of the only problems I had was, and it's based on a book. I didn't say that. It is based on a book by the same name. Um, it got close to the end, and some things happened, and I was like, mm, there's still some time left in this movie. I'm not sure how they're wrapping this up. And so it continues on to the end, and once they get to that part, uh, I, it did answer a lot of questions. I, I think it was uh, pretty well handled in that aspect. So... I did like it. I think Christian Bale does a good job. Again, he's a really good uh, character actor. Uh, I think he helps push this movie uh, better than if it had been somebody else. And so I'm actually going to give this one four and a half out of five stars.